we often ask ourselves why we don't get blessings like other people do. I don't know if you do that or not. I know that I do as, as a pastor. Um, we tend to measure our worth by another man's wealth. We tend to say to ourselves, well, why don't I have what others have? And, 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 I, and I do that as, as a pastor. I, I do that, and I shouldn't do that. I say, well, why, why don't we have this, or why don't we have that? And, and, and you know, why isn't our church growing? Why is our parking lot so small? <laughs> and God knoweth, but anyway. You know, we, we, we tend to rate ourselves against other ministries. And we tend to rate our blessings against what other people have. And in 2 Corinthians 10, 12, we see this problem. For we dare not make ourselves of the number or compare ourselves with some that commend themselves. But they measuring themselves by themselves and comparing themselves among themselves are not wise. But we tend to compare ourselves with other people. We tend to compare our blessing, our reward with other people's Reward. An accurate measurement can only be taken against the divine standard. The question is not is my blessing greater than another person's blessing? Or are my rewards now, or are, will my rewards in the future be greater? But the question is, is are you in God's will? And if you are in fact in God's will, then I promise you that you have a, the greatest blessing that you're going to get. If you are doing the work for the Lord that you ought to be doing, if you are trusting in Him, leaning on Him, if you are doing everything that you can do to serve the Lord now, and if you are in God's will, then the blessing that you have can never be any greater. Mm -hmm. 